Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya 2023. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can replace a massive amount of objects in one click, right? Uh, let's say you modeled a ship and it's a steel ship and you got rivets everywhere. And at the end of the day, your ship has, I don't know, 14,273 rivets all over the place. But you don't like the shape of the rivets and you want to replace them, all of them. Well, luckily you don't have to go in there and replace them one by one. What you can do is you can replace all of them in one go, uh, which is kind of neat, right? So that's what I'm going to show you. So let's set up a quick scene here. We're going to start with a uh, polygon plane. We're going to hit R to scale that. And then we're going to hit E to rotate it. We're going to hold down J as we do so, so we can snap it upright. Hit W again, move it back, move it up. All right. That's a section of the hull of the ship, as you can clearly see, right? Okay, now we need a rivet. So we're going to take a polygon sphere. We're going to hit F to frame that, E to rotate, hold down J once again, snap it over like so. Then we're going to jump over here. We're going to right click on the face. We're going to drag select half of that thing and simply hit delete. Now, what's important here is that the uh, object's pivot point is in the same place as the uh, object you can replace it with, right? So let's go to object mode and let's hit W to see where it's at and it's right there. Okay, cool. All right, now let's put this thing in place. Uh, okay, so I want them on each cross section of this grid that I made, not my Maya grid, but the grid of the, uh, the sheet metal here. So I'm going to jump to this screen, hit 4 for wireframe mode if you're not already in that mode. I'm going to take my rivet, I'm going to hit R to scale it down because it's a bit big, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit W to move it, and I'm going to hold down V so it will snap to my vertex right there. I'm going to do a final check to make sure it's setting OK. Hit F to frame that, and it is. Cool, cool. And now we're going to kind of copy that all over the place, right? So I got this thing selected. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move, and hold down V to snap it. Boom. I'm happy with that. So now if I hold down Shift and then hit D, it will repeat that on the next vertex and go down all the way until these are all in place. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of my uh, rivets. Shift select the uh, the sheet metal to uh, deselect it, and then we're gonna do Control D once again to duplicate all of them. Hit W to move them down. Hold V once again to snap it to the next vertices, and because that's now in a correct position, I can hold down Shift again and hit D a couple of times, and now I got my rivets perfectly in place exactly where they need to be, right? Okay. Now, of course, this is a simple plate of uh, steel with some rivets on it, but let's say your rivets are all over the place, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open my outliner, and here are all my spheres, and they are all rivets, of course, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag select everything. I'm going to deselect my sheet here, and I'm going to group the rivets. So I'm going to hit Control G to group that which will give me group one. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to, I uh, should be able to rename that. I can double click on it. That helps as well. Uh, rivets, is that how you write rivets? I don't know. Probably going to get a lot of comments that I did it wrong. Anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So there you go. So you can select them in one go. And this will be our uh, metal sheet. Awesome. All right now, the way this replace thing works is it will you select all your rivets, then you select uh, the final thing you select is the replacement rivet or the thing you want them replaced by, and then you can use the command, right? So we need to make a new rivet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another polygon sphere, have to frame that, E to rotate, hold on J as before. We're going to cut that in half. As before, right click on the face, drag, select, and delete. There you go. 
and of course we want to do some change to it otherwise it wouldn't make sense right so let's go in here and uh, I don't know we'll right click on his face we'll uh, click and shift double click and then we'll hit shift and point or period or whatever you want to call it that thing at the end of the sentence yeah there you go we're gonna do something like this we're gonna hit B for soft select we're gonna hold down B and we're gonna drag right to decrease the impacted area we're gonna hit W and we're gonna kind of push that in so we'll get something looking like this right okay cool hit B to turn that off right click the object mode and it's all good now we need to make sure that our pivot point didn't move and it didn't so that's cool and I want to make sure that's kind of the same size right so we're gonna go up here and I'm just gonna have a look F to frame R to scale down a little bit more there you go that's fine okay all right guys well now we have our metal sheet we have our rivets and we have our replacement rivet which i will call uh rivet new all righty now this is the tricky part here if i go in here and i simply say okay i want to select all the rivets that i have and i click on the group the group has its own pivot point which is down here so if i now were to replace things it wouldn't work out so the group setting here for rivets is only so i know where all the rivets are so i'm going to open up that group i'm going to click on the first one and then scroll down and then i'm going to control shift the last one so all of them are selected but now you can see that the pivot point is where it should be finally i'm going to shift select my new rivet right and I'm going to go up to uh, modify. We're going to go to replace objects, go to the option box, edit and reset settings. So we're all on the same page and we're going to select copy. If you have a huge amount, you would probably click on instance, but we're going to click on copy. We're going to click on replace objects. Give it a second. And now if you go in here, you can see that every uh, rivet has been replaced. That's how you do it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.